update on what's going on in the garden. I've put up a temporary fence um, around the large chicken coop and also around Oreo's end um, so that the chooks can get out of their cage and have a bit of a free range. Can you see the cheeky chook behind me that's in the garden bed? I think she's having a, a feed of aloe vera by the look of it. Um, I'm going to bring you regular updates but today I just wanted to show you what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to continue all the good work that you started, get your seedlings into garden beds, continue on with the wicking beds and look after the chooks. So, here goes, let's go on a tour. So this is an update for you on Oreo and her chicks. Um, as you can see, the chicks are about half the size of Oreo now. Um, and yesterday I extended their end of the coop so that they've got some free range area here. The one's gone in behind the gate. Come out, little one. But they're really quite big now. And I also extended some free range area on the outside of the large chook, chook enclosure. Someone's in there laying an egg right now. <laughs> um, they've been really enjoying it out here. Although not really too keen to go past the rocks. Come here girls, come and say hello. Trace. Hi, Cloudy Blossom. He's in there laying an egg. Let's see if we can have a look. Look out, Trace. Was it you, Tori? Can't see any egg in there. Okay, so this is the lettuce that you guys grew from seed. Um, I took it out of the greenhouse last week and put this into one of the garden bears. It looks like it's doing really well. And um, we've still got a couple of little butternut pumpkins growing here, but I think I'll rip the pumpkins out before the end of this week. Um, the chilies are still going strong, as is the rosemary. This garden bed here is full of chilies. Uh, this pumpkin is finished. I'll just swing around to the other side. Uh, these tomatoes, I think I'll pick the last of the tomatoes, the red and the green this week, and we'll get rid of them. Um, silver beet and rhubarb doing really well. More tomatoes here that are just about finished. We're just waiting for the last of them to ripen up. Um, this bed here is your choice sum that you grew in the greenhouse. Now, have a look at that hole. What do you reckon might be making that hole? I've seen a lot of white cabbage moths flying around in the garden. So if you run out of things to do, um, make me some cabbage moths and perhaps put them in the letterbox at the front of the school and I'll get them out and put them in the garden. These tomatoes are finished. Look at the mint. Gone crazy. Loves the warm weather. See the cabbage moths? Mm. Uh, more tomatoes that are finished and in this garden bed here I put the radish that you guys have grown from seed and over here is the beetroot that you guys grew yeah some of these poor little plants that's an nasturtium there that's popping up through the 
through the dirt. Hey, look at this one. It's hardly got any leaves left. I need you guys back here to look for the caterpillars for me. And look how much your wicking beds have grown. By the time you get back, there will be beetroot ready for harvest and carrots ready for harvest. In this one, we've got silver beet and lettuce. More silver beet on that side. And over here, we've got the lemon balm, the sage, the basil. Look how beautiful the basil looks. The basil, the parsley, and the apple tree in the middle. And another cabbage moth flutters by. And that's about it for today's update. I'll finish it up here with the chicks who, now that I've been able to get into the pen, you can see that they're quite a bit taller. I'll see if she'll let me get down without coming at me. They're almost the same size as her now. I'll give you another update in a few days. See you guys.